Good morning, Year Six. It is me, Mrs Stenbosch, from Point Blank Academy, and I have today's English task for you, as set by your Year Six teachers. You are being asked to compare how an author introduces new characters. Your first task is to listen to the extract I shall now read and produce a mind map about Dr Grief. Then those of you who like a challenge should go on to compare how Anthony Horowitz introduces Dr Grief in contrast to Michael J Roscoe who we learnt about at the beginning of the book. Good luck, Year 6. Listen carefully so you can complete this task. Mrs Stellenbosch knocked on the door. Come in. Even with just two words, Alex caught the South African accent. The door opened and they went into a huge room that made no sense. Just like the rest of the building, its shape was irregular, none of the walls running parallel. The ceiling was about 50 feet high, with windows running the whole way and giving an impressive view of the slopes. The room was modern, with soft lighting coming up from the units concealed in the walls. The furniture was ugly, but not as ugly as the animal heads on the walls and the zebra skin on the wood floor. There were three chairs next to a small fireplace. One of them was gold and antique. A man was sitting in it. His head turned as Alex came in. Good afternoon, Alex, he said. Please come and sit down. Alex sauntered into the room and took one of the chairs. Mrs Stellenbosch sat in the other. My name is Grief, the man continued. Dr Grief. I'm very pleased to meet you and to have you here. Alex stared at the man who was the director of Point Blank. At the paper white skin and the eyes burning behind the red eyeglasses. It was like meeting a skeleton and for a moment he was lost for words. Then he recovered. Nice place, he said. Do you think so? There was no emotion whatsoever in Grief's voice. So far, he had only moved his neck. This building was designed in 1857 by a Frenchman who was certainly the world's worst architect. This was his only commission. When the first move owners moved in, they had him shot. There are still quite a few people here with guns, Alex glanced out of the window as another pair of guards walked past. Point Blanc is unique, Dr Grief explained, as you will soon discover. All the boys who have been sent here come from families of great wealth and importance. We have sons of emperors and industrialists, boys like yourself. It follows we could very easily become a tar for target for terrorists. The guides are therefore here for your protection. That's very kind of you. Alex felt he was being too polite. It was time to show this man what sort of person he was meant to be. But to be honest, I don't really want to be here myself. So if you just tell me how to get into town, maybe I can get in the next train home. There is no way down into town. Dr Grief lifted a hand to stop Alex from interrupting. Alex glanced at his long skeletal fingers and the eyes glinting red behind the glasses. The man moved as if every bone in his body had been broken and then put back together. The skiing season is over. It is too dangerous now. There is only the helicopter and that will take you from here only when I say so. The hand lowered itself again. You are here, Alex, because you have disappointed your parents. You are expelled from school. You have had difficulties with the police. That wasn't my fault, Alex protested. Don't interrupt the doctor, Mrs Stellenbosch said. Alex glanced at her baefully. Your appearance is displeasing, Dr Grief went on. 
your language also. It is our job to turn you into a boy of whom your parents can be proud. I'm happy as I am, Alex said. That is of no relevance. Dr Greek fell silent. Alex shivered. There was something about this room, so big, so empty, so twisted out of shape. And this man, who was both old and young at the same time, but who somehow wasn't completely human. So what are you going to do with me? Alex asked. There will be no lessons to begin with, Mrs. Spenenbosch said. For a couple of weeks, we want to assimilate you. What does that mean? To assimilate, to conform, to adapt, to become like. It was as if she was reading out of a dictionary. There are six boys at the academy at the moment. You will meet them and you will spend time with them. There will be opportunities for sports and for being social. There is a good library here and you will read. Soon you will learn our methods. So I hope that has given you enough information to be able to produce a mind map about Dr Grief and then to go on to consider a comparison with Michael J Roscoe, who we met at the beginning of the Point Blank book. Good luck Year 6 with this mission.